All right, hey everyone, SKG here. What's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to keep your momentum, especially in gunfights. Now, in the background, there's some clips playing of some examples of how to keep momentum and stuff. And I will show some in-game examples as well. Now, I see a lot of new players coming to Apex and learning all these movement techs like super gliding and wall bouncing. And sure, they're cool. But if you don't know how to keep the momentum after the movement technique, then there's not really any point apart from that initial speed boost. After you watch this video, guys, you are going to learn how keeping your momentum in gunfights can really benefit you. And in this video, we're also going to be covering when to holster your weapons to get a uh, maximum uh, speed boost. And real quick for the video starts, I just want to say if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We post gameplay driven and informative content. So if that's your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs in 2022. It's going to be hard, but the rate we're going, we can definitely do it. And if you're enjoying the video, uh, make sure to drop a like rating down below. It'll be appreciated as that's the best way to support this channel. Our socials and stuff will be linked in the description. I stream almost daily on Twitch over there. We grind into masters. So go check that out, please. It'll be greatly appreciated if you just came in the chat and said what's up. I'm probably live right now, but I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time. Let's just get on with the video. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to be covering is the three main momentum groups. And those groups include momentum starters, momentum extenders, and momentum shifters. Now, as a player, you have to utilize these three groups of movement to best fit your play style and how to outplay your enemy. So an example of a momentum starter is a super glide that we all know and love. With a super glide, we climb up with zero momentum and exit with a lot of momentum just like that. Another example of a momentum starter is a wall bounce. Now you can start a wall bounce with zero momentum just like that. And uh, you gain a pretty substantial uh, speed boost. The next category we're going to be moving on is the momentum extenders. Now this is the biggest part of this video. I cannot stress you how much. This is how you keep your momentum. Now an example of a movement extender is obviously a b-hop, whether that be the regular b-hops or standing, and also a wall bounce in certain situations. I'm going to cover that in a bit, but for now let's just cover b-hops. Now b-hops is by far the best way to keep your momentum. So right now I'm going to hit a super glide and then b-hop after it, and I'm keeping that momentum that I just gained from that super glide, and I just went probably almost double the amount of distance I would have usually gone when I haven't be hopped so keep that in mind when you're pushing an enemy if they're a little far away if they're out of super glide like radius or distance just keep in mind that you can super glide and then be hop to them just like this uh standing b hops are also similar similar I'll play a clip right now uh, I super glide off this ledge and then b hop off this other ledge and that lets me extend that momentum a little bit further and allows me to kill this wraith right here last and final category is uh, momentum shifters and we probably already know what these are these are your tap strafes your redirects that shifts your momentum completely now these are also going to play a big role in keeping your momentum in gunfights and we'll cover that later i'm talking uh tap strafe b hopping redirect b hopping and by the way guys i forgot to mention if you guys want to learn all these movement techniques that you haven't already learned i uh, click the card in the top right that's my movement guide it has almost every single movement guide that we know of as of 2022 so hit that up and then come back to this video when you're done. All right, so now that we've learned the three categories of movement, we are now going to combine them all and learn how to use them effectively, especially within gunfights. So what I want you guys to do is you want to head over to the firing range, head to this little corner right here, and you're just going to hit a fade slide jump. You're basically going to run forward and then slide jump and then just b-hop out of it, just like that. Now this is going to build up muscle memory to do it all the time. Just keep doing it. Rinse and repeat, baby. Boom, just like that. Now once you get confident, you can try and add a momentum shift in there or a tap strafe. So... Fade slide jump, B hop, and then tap strafe like that. And once you get confident, you can try to go B hop tap strafes like this. And that's only for like the more advanced uh, players. But if you keep doing what I just showed you right there, you should be pretty good. And just slowly add one more B hop to the tap strafe. And then just keep B hopping out, out of it just like that. Now that's going to be your main uh, area that you want to focus on is B hopping mid fight. Just like this. So just incorporating tap strafes and b-hops in your gunfights is probably the most important part. But that's how I mainly keep my momentum in gunfights, just with the b-hop tap strafes. Uh, also, WASD strafing is also very good. I can make a whole separate video on strafing if you guys want, but let me quickly cover WASD strafing. WASD strafing is where you jump and press WASD mid-air and kind of get that uh, redirect thing as you're going. And this can also be good in gaining momentum because if you slide out of uh, WSD strafe, you actually get a little bit of a speed boost right there. So you can do that and then come back. It's all about experimenting and messing around in firing range and learning new combos with movement techniques. Uh, another good way to keep momentum is jumping right before you hit the edge of a block like that and hitting a B-hop off it. 
All right, now we're going to move on to how wall bouncing can be a movement extender. All right, so the easiest way I can show this is with a Pathfinder grapple. So I'm going to Pathfinder grapple, get momentum, hit a wall bounce like that. And you see how I extended that uh, momentum just like that? Now, I actually hit a jump fatigue wall bounce. And if you guys don't know what that is, I made a video about it. It'll be in the top card. So I'll quickly do that again for you guys. So I'll grapple and then wall bounce just like that. So yeah, that's probably the best I can explain how to keep your momentum. Uh, it's mainly just b-hopping in your fights especially uh hitting some tap strafe b-hopping really just out over just outplaying your enemy confusing them and the wall bounce is more for just uh getting around the map and maybe running away i wouldn't really use it in fights all right now that we've learned how to keep momentum in your gunfights we're gonna learn when to holster and unholster your weapons now this is a big part in apex you'll see fade uh, myself and other people do it all the time and the reason we do it is because holstering your weapons gives you a massive speed boost i believe it's like 25 30 percent i'm not too sure about that but it's definitely well worth it now my rule of thumb with holstering your weapons is you always want to do it uh before a slide jump because when you holster a weapon with a slide jump you'll go way further than compared to when you uh had your weapons out so just always keep that in the back of the head uh that you want to gain the maximum amount of speed with a slide hop and to do that, you need to holster your weapons. I just want to quickly say, if you holster your weapons and the animation is playing, you're still not getting the 25% uh, speed boost. So you have to wait for the animation to completely finish and then go for it. And the same thing applies with your uh, weapons holstered. So I can start my slide jump and pull my weapons out and the animation will still have that 25% uh, speed increase from holstering uh, the weapons. Uh, I'm not really sure if that made sense, but uh, I hope you guys understand. And even in fights, you can do it as well. It's a little bit risky. You can also uh, holster your weapons a slide jump tap strafe and stuff like that basically just uh play around with it uh learn the timing of the game that's probably one of the most important things you need to do is learn the timing of the game and how long it takes for you to holster your weapons and unholster it and once you get that down you'll be running circles around your enemies i promise that that's basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully i didn't butcher this i'm sorry for not posting in a week i've been trying to get clips but i'm tearing my hair out with skill-based matchmaking i just gotta stop being mid and actually get good clips but uh, I have a pretty good video coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys for being patient. I love you guys. Uh, this video was recommended by uh, OK Doki. Uh, I love that guy. He's a regular in the YouTube channel. So if you want to be featured in one of these videos and have your suggestion uh, made, then just comment it down below. I appreciate it. Yeah, subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Mwah.